percent on activities to do in Glade Springs and Saltville. When you look at them, they're small towns, but that doesn't mean that there's little to do. You can't find find much or any things to do. And they're located along the gorgeous Blue Ridge Mountains. So there's lakes, forests, and there's a lot of history that happened here. So to start off the morning, we're actually going to start at the neighboring town, Abingdon. Breakf I chose to go to breakfast at the Girl and the Raven. It's really good. They have really good coffee and breakfast. The prices are good. It's like what you would normally pay for like a cup of coffee at a Starbucks, but it's a family-owned restaurant, so you're actually supporting a family. And then we have um, the directions to get there. They're open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. And then Saturday from 8 to 3. So it's an early, there's no dinner. So like early lunch or early dinner and like breakfast. And then for the afternoon, we're going to go to the Museum of the Middle Appalachian in Saltville, which has a lot of different exhibitions from the early um, like ice age all the way up until when men actually step onto the moon. <coughs> I want to say five dollars to get in, so it's pretty reasonable, and it's a fun experience. And then after, um, we eat lunch at Sarah Jean's Eatery, which is again family owned. They have a small selection of things, but everything is really good. They have like sushi, sandwiches, wraps, and snacks. Um, what did you guys look at me? And then they're open. Tuesday through Saturday from 4 to 9. And then in the evening, during the fall, it's really pretty to go walk at, up at White Top. So I thought that would be a fun way to like close off the day, since it is only a day trip for like college students around the area. Um, you can drive all the way up to the summit and then walk around and see really pretty views. I think it looks down towards Damascus if you look over like the ledge kind of. Um, it's just a really cool way to finish off the day. And then here we have like more prices and actual directions to each place. So like the Girl and the Raven again, it's a family owned and it's at the resource. Um, they have really good coffee and American style food. So like pancakes and bacon. And a cup of coffee and like a latte is like five dollars, and then a breakfast is about twelve. And then the museum, a little more information. So there's seventeen exhibits. Um, they have from the Ice Age, Native American, Civil War, and then just history thrown in. It's five dollars per adult, three dollars for seniors, and three dollars for children. And then Sarah Jean's again, it's family owned and operated. They have sushi, sandwiches, and snacks. And then those are just directions to White Top, which is take exit 35 at Chilhowee, take state route 762 past Hardy's, follow state, that same state route about three and a half miles, go straight through the four way intersection. Um, and then Follow this road for 4.1 miles up at the white top. You're gonna hit the dirt road and you're just gonna keep going and you'll end up at the satellite and there's parking up there. And it's a really fun experience. And then extra activities, you can go see Mount Rogers, you can go to Glade Springs Farmer's Market, which is on Saturday. So there's a lot of things to do. In the summer, there's a wave pool. We didn't get to experience that, um, but it looks like fun. They're going to put them on the history. Thank you.